Assalamu alaikum, my brothers and sisters. <laughs> Welcome to the conversion. <laughs> it's good to be here in Montreal. Yeah, a lot of people have got beards now. Everyone's got a beard now, man. How long did that beard take you to grow there, George? 15 years. I grew this on the walk up. <laughs> I've got that one-way ticket look, you know? We're Indians, we're hairy bastards. I was talking to my Indian friend about earlier on how quickly it takes us to grow beards, and she agreed. <laughs> so. That's what I like about Canada, you know, you don't like hecklers. See, in England, when people heckle you, they're a lot more serious. Get off, mate, you're rubbish. It's rub like, in, in, in England, right, I get heckled by Indian people as well. They take it a lot more personally, you know. They're like, you shut up, bastard! <laughs> don't do it, bastard, shut up! I'm telling you 12 times, 16 times, bastard. You shit off. That's the last time I did a show in a mosque. That was a tough crowd, I tell you. <laughs> I get asked my opinion all the time by the BBC about my... I got a call from my agent. Hi, Paul, really excited. The BBC have called up, Newsnight. They want to talk to you about what it's like being a Muslim? <laughs> yeah, I can talk to you about what it's like being a Muslim. I'm not a Muslim. No, but they want to talk to you about what it's like growing up being a Muslim. But I didn't grow up being a Muslim then, did I? No, they want to talk to you about me, Muslim things do, being a Muslim things, run, run, abandon the Muslim, then the Muslim, then Muslim. <laughs> Why don't you find a Muslim comedian? What are you asking me for, you racist bastards? <laughs> don't worry, Paul, they'll find someone else. It's only a thousand pounds. A what? <laughs> I said, you know what, mate? Assalamu alaikum, my brothers and sisters. <laughs> Inshallah. I'm Muslim for the money, mate. I'm all about the profit. <laughs> you know, what happened to Ebola? <laughs> Apparently, remember that? Two years ago, we were all supposed to die of Ebola. Just disappeared. I'll tell you what happened. As soon as a white guy caught you, they found a cure. Billions of us dead. David Cash it. We are safe now. Because <laughs> we gay marriage has been legalised now. About time, isn't it? <laughs> About time. <laughs> Who agrees with gay marriage? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Who thinks gay marriage is wrong? <laughs> I've misjudged this audience. I think gay marriage is wrong. Because if gay marriage catches on, soon we're gonna have gay arranged marriages. <laughs> and I don't need that crap in my life. <laughs> Indies, Indian people are gonna be like, I, I introduced you to 50 girls, you said no, now bring the boys. <laughs> That's my time, you've been a great crowd, thanks a lot.